Hey guys, LudaSpell27 here, and I know it's been a while since I've made the last video. I've been focusing on getting these live reactions on the Anime of Diamonds of Breakable out as soon as I can. But I'm here to make another little update video to let you guys know of what's been going on lately. So, on December 2nd, I decided to upload a video containing the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Diamonds and Breakable drama CD, The Ghost Story. And the thing is, I watched it on Facebook. It had the English translation already, and I really liked it. I thought it was really funny. It was a great drama CD, and I wanted to share with you guys. I even went as far as to asking the guy who shared it on Facebook permission if I could upload this on my channel, because I know that it wasn't my video, but I wanted to ask for permission first to upload it so that I can share it with you guys. And he said it was okay. Like, it was meant to be shared, so... I was really happy and I was glad to share this with everybody. And considering the reception that I got from this video, I'm so happy that everyone else liked it. I mean, it was a great drama CD and I didn't take credit of this video. I acknowledged who did the translation and who got the video out before. And I was not monetizing this video, so I wasn't gaining anything from this. Well, Okay, like, I did get a lot of views and likes on this, but the only reason why I uploaded this video was because I wanted to share something that I liked to other people who will also like it just as much as I did. Um, unfortunately, uh, five days later, on December 7th, uh, it got taken down. I got a copyright notice by YouTube saying that the video was taken down and the copyright strike was issued by this one person. I'm not gonna say his full name, I'll just call him Laj. So yeah, Laj was a claimant who sent uh, the, a copyright claim on YouTube saying that this video contained content of his own and because of that my video got removed. Obviously, this really pissed me off because, well, this is the same shit I had to deal with many times before while I was on YouTube. I mean, I had an old backup channel that got hit by copyright strikes so many times that I lost that channel. My channel was terminated, my backup one. So I did what I always did. Um, I just filed a counterclaim hoping that um, the strike would get removed. Otherwise, I'd have to wait three months for the strike to get removed. Uh, I did check my channel, though. It seems that everything else was fine. I can still make videos that are longer than 15 minutes. I still have the custom thumbnails. I can still monetize videos. It's just that I have one strike. Unfortunately, um, I believe a day or two, I don't know how long it was been, but after I sent out my counter notification, it got rejected. So there were two other options left to get rid of the strike. Uh, the first one was to resend the counter notification, but according to YouTube, and I quote, filing a counter notification may result the claimant filing a lawsuit against you for copyright infringement. If you are sure that your video has been misidentified as infringing and are willing to possibly defend your claim in court, you may resubmit your counter notification by clicking blah 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 blah. The second option was to request a retraction from the person who had removed my videos. So I wasn't really sure what to do. So I decided to like um, ask for some help with other YouTubers like the anime hero, um, Merlin, even shot anime and even Weaboss, which by the way, thank you guys for so much for giving me a lot of advice to help me out with this. It turns out from what I've heard, um, this kind of thing actually can happen. Like, I've heard that apparently people have gone to court because of this kind of thing, and it can get pretty messy. And honestly, that's something that I don't want to do. And you know what? I just thought that I would contact Laj and request for uh, retraction for the video. And, well, I did ask him nicely, but this is one of the things that really irritated me. Laj's name, it was not Japanese. I was trying to find out anything about this guy. Hopefully that will give me some clues if he was connected to working with the drama CD. Making it, you know? And unfortunately, I couldn't find anything about this guy. And here's the thing, this is what I only found out about the Diamonds Unbreakable anime. The anime is made by Davis Production. It is adapted from the manga series by Hirohiko Araki, which was released on Shonen Jump until eventually he released it to Ultra Jump, I believe. And 
the original channel that was aired in Japan is Tokyo MX. And Warner Brothers Japan also owns the rights of creating the Blu-rays and the DVDs for Diamonds Are Breakable. And the soundtrack is composed by Yugo Kano. And I couldn't find any connections with any of these companies or people to Lash. This guy was claiming that this drama CD has content that contains his own, and yet I couldn't find anything that can prove that. And I did write an update on my Facebook fan page and on Google Plus to let you guys know what happened with the drama CD. But a couple of hours after I sent the retraction request, um, this is what he said, and this is the exact words of Laj's reply to my email. Thank you for your inquiry. I'll remove the copyright claim as soon as you remove the video that you don't own. The claim, it's valid. I wouldn't dare to play on YouTube denouncing videos that they aren't mine, even though my work is kind of recognized in the field of the music. I don't want to lose my work uploaded to YouTube. I would like to stay in the anonymity, but posting information about me like my full name, I've read some comments, you make me look bad without a reason. I've just claimed what is mine. You should have contacted with me first instead of posting my information to Facebook without my consent. It seems to me a lack of respect. So if you want me to delete the complaint, just delete the video. Okay, I will admit I did feel guilty for making him look like the bad guy. I was just angry and frustrated at the time because of the bad experiences I've had in the past dealing with copyright and videos being falsely removed. I mean, I lost one of my backup channels because of it, so I replied to Lash saying that I was sincerely sorry for making him look like the bad guy. I really am sorry, Lash, by the way, if you are watching this, but I will say this in my defense. I had no idea that was his full name because, well, most of the copyright strikes I get, they would always label the company as the person or the company that created the copyright claim. I didn't know that was his actual full name, which by the way has five words. I thought it was just a username, but yeah, I did kind of wrong like posting his full name, but I figured that if someone were to see his name, maybe someone would be familiar of who he is and would help me figure out more about this guy because I still haven't found anything that can lead me to his connection on working with the drama CD. But according to his reply, he said that his work is kind of recognized in the field of the music. Which, by the way, I would like to know what part of the music that he worked on, really. Did he work on the OST soundtrack? Did he work with Yugo Kano? Did he work with the voice actors? Did he do the editing? Something? Anything? Because if I get an understanding of what he did with this drama CD, then I will delete the video. And I did ask him nicely when I replied. But it's been almost a week and he hasn't replied back. He hasn't replied back to any of my responses. Nothing whatsoever. He hasn't said anything. And that got me thinking, what if he wasn't connected with the drama CD? What if he's just doing this so that I would delete the video and that no one else would be able to see this? I mean, how would I know that he would keep his word on giving me the retraction if I deleted the video? And besides, if I did delete the video, it wouldn't remove the strike. I would have to wait three months for the strike to be removed. So I know that Laj is probably going to be watching this. So if he is Laj, I will delete the video from my channel, but I need to know if you would retract your counterclaim once I delete this video. Because if I delete this video and nothing has changed, then it was all for nothing. So, Lash, I will delete the video if you please tell me you would really retract your copyright claim. But I also have another request. If you really did work on this drama CD like you claim to have, your field of music, which you've claimed on this email. Please give me proof that you've had because I couldn't find anything about you. That is all I ask. So Laj, please. I'm sorry 
that I made you look like the bad guy. I am sorry for posting your full name, which in defense, I didn't know that was your full name. I thought that was your username, but I really need to know that you would keep your word because you haven't replied to me in about a week. So how can I know that you would retract the copyright claim if I deleted the video because you haven't replied to me yet? I will do that if you do reply to me, if you keep your word and show me proof that you've worked on the drama CD. If not, then you know what? I'll just wait for the three months to have the copyright strike removed. So yeah, at this moment, I've been waiting for what's been going to happen. And from what I've heard from other YouTubers who I asked for help, they say it's best to delete the video, which you know what, I'm considering that I would, but I'm just gonna wait and see what's going to happen. But so far, nothing very terrible has been happening lately. I mean, all this guy has on me is just posting his full name on Facebook. But here's the thing. Before my video was removed, uh, I had sent links on Facebook and on Google+, and a person on Reddit had asked to share the drama CD on Reddit, which I said, yeah, sure, because it's meant to be shared. I, I want people to like this thing, you know? And the thing is, if you click on the links on either Facebook or on Reddit, then it would send you to this one page here that says that the video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by so and so on. So, if you click on the link, his full name is shown. Once he took down that video, his full name was exposed. So in hindsight, even if I didn't reveal his full name on Facebook, his full name is there anyway if you clicked on the link of the video that leads you to this page right here. And yet I'm at fault here for revealing not only his full name, which is the only thing that I revealed about this guy, but it's also my fault for sharing something that I wanted other people to like. But then again, you can't do that these days because, well, copyright and all that. I mean, I thought it would be okay since I claimed that it wasn't really my own. I just wanted to share something that I like. I guess I was wrong. But you know what? I don't regret uploading this video on my channel. I mean, I wanted people to see something that I liked and I'm glad I did because a lot of people were liking this um, drama CD and the drama CD is getting more and more recognition. So much so that the JoJo Wiki has released the full translation on the drama CD. And for those of you guys who wanted to see the drama CD, uh, don't worry, it's still out there on YouTube. Apparently there were two more other users that uploaded the same thing I did. Uh, but one of them is gone, but there's still one left. I'm not gonna send the link because I don't want to risk this guy losing this uh, video. So if you want to see the video, just Google uh, Diamond is Unbreakable Drama CD. You might be able to find it on Vimeo or even on Facebook on the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fan page. You might be able to find that there. But I don't know if you guys want me to share this video on anywhere else, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say at this moment. I thought I'd let you guys know about what's been going on. I know I'm probably risking um, Lash seeing this, but considering he saw my Facebook posts, I'm, I'm not gonna get scared over this. I mean, I will admit I was freaking out because I have never had something like this happen before. I haven't had a copyright claim being taken this far, but I I'm, not, I'm not scared. I'm really not. And Lash, listen, if you're watching this, I am really, not making you look like the bad guy here. I am just trying to find out more about this because uh, God damn it, I'm freaking stubborn. <laughs> um, look, even if I do delete the video, it's not gonna get rid of the copyright strike. So I'm just gonna probably wait for three months for it to be removed or not. I really don't wanna send another counterclaim because I really don't wanna risk going to court if that were to really happen. And like, I really wish I could figure out what else to do at this point, but considering nothing has been happening since Lash hasn't replied to anything, I don't know if this will get any results whatsoever, but again, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what's been going on. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, thank you guys so much, by the way, for being very patient with me and you know, keeping up with my crap <laughs> that I deal with almost every single goddamn week. Thank you to Weeboss, Shot Anime, uh, Merlin, Anime Hero, for um, 
giving your words of advice over this. Uh, you guys are great. I'm glad to have you guys as friends on YouTube. And um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So with that being said, I'm gonna respond to seven, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Uh, later.